Hello everyone, Neil from BookBull here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply your PDF, whether it's multiple pages or just one page, to your entire project. So we're inside of the BookBull Studio, and the first thing you want to do is head over to the file library. This is going to allow you to upload your PDF that you maybe have purchased from someone else, maybe created in a new project, maybe it's just a bunch of coloring book pages, and you'll be able to upload those and automatically put them into your project. So we're going to go ahead and upload a PDF and you have a few options on this page. You can choose a PDF file, which we're going to do in a minute, but it's also going to ask you what type of margins are included in the pages of the file you'll be uploading. So if you downloaded these prior to uploading them here, you want to select paperback interior or hardcover, depending on which the previous project was. In my case, it's going to be a paperback interior, but if you just got a PDF somewhere else, maybe you hired someone to create it, you would create no margins. I'm going to go ahead and select paperback interior, and this particular project is Bleed. These options right here need to match up with the PDF that you will be uploading so that you can make sure that everything's going to fit inside your project. So I'm going to go ahead, give me one moment here and upload the PDF file and then we'll get started. All right, we can see here, here is the paperback interior that I'm going to be uploading. It's about 10 pages and it has some content in it, so I'm going to select that one. I am going to open it, and as you saw, the title of that uh, project right here, it's 6 by 9 uh, This one says 100 pages, but the PDF itself has 10 pages in it. It's no bleed, and uh, so we pick paperback and no bleed, and we're going to go ahead and click submit. And what this is going to do is it's going to extract the pages from that PDF and put them into a folder for us. So I'm going to give this a minute to finish finish up and then we'll, we will continue. So as you see here, it's cutting out the margin. It's going to make sure that everything's going to fit properly on the page and it's going to save the files. And there you go. You can see that there is one page and here's page two, which I replicated across 10 pages. Now we get a lot of questions about how do you add this to your uh, interior of the book you're working on instead of one by one. On this page, you're going to click the My Uploads tab you're going to see right here is what it is called. It's going to put all of those in a folder. So if I open this up, you'll see the exact same thing we're looking at. So you want to find the folder that it uploaded to. You want to right click the folder and you want to use a folder as a page template. And remember that was 10 pages. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm going to go ahead and click next and I'm going to submit it. And as you can see, page one, page two, page three, all of those pages are automatically inserted into your project. So all you need to do at that point is go through, make sure everything looks good. This should save you guys a ton of time. So that's going to be all for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.